Well, good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, we're talking trap prep again. And on a previous video, I showed you one of the ways that I prep traps using just just regular spray paint after they've been degreased and deoiled. And uh, that worked out, that works out real well. Just uh, kind of a clear, uh, just a regular spray paint. Elliot was with me, and we misted some misted some traps and did that, and uh, that worked out really well. Uh, I'd like to show you another way today. It's just about as easy, oh, ouch, I'm old. <clears throat> it's just about as easy to do, uh, maybe even a little easier to do, uh, than, than the spray paint. So this is a dipping process, um, but it has the same effect. You're gonna, it, it's paint in the end, right? Um, but these ones, I don't, I don't usually like to do this with new traps. I like to use, so I've got some, I've got some traps here that have had a season on them. Um, got a little tiny bit of surface rust, not too much. They got a little bit of, leftover uh, leftover natural trap dye that I use. Um, if you haven't seen that video on, on natural trap dye using maple leaves and sticks and stuff like that, um, then it's on the channel. You can go ahead and check that out. Listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wild Man channel, we sure would appreciate it. Uh, it doesn't cost anything perfectly free. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to get notified when we upload new content, uh, just click on that bell and then you'll get notified when uh, we put new videos up on the channel. So uh, today, quick and easy trap prep. Um, it's not too difficult to do. You're gonna need uh, whatever paint you choose. So I like to use a like a trim clad, like a rust paint, Rust-Oleum or whatever. Um, and I like to use, I use flat leather brown um, is the color that I use. You can use black, you can use gray, you can use whatever. Um, a lot of water choppers use brown. These, these are going in the dirt, I think. Um, they may actually be used for drowning sets, but I don't know that. Uh, it just depends on what I, you know, with them but um so the color is up to you don't use a gloss that's just a recommendation use something flat or matte um a dark earthy color green gray uh brown whatever so besides your paint whatever you choose you're going to need some paint thinner and just make sure you got somewhere ready to hang your traps up to to let them dry so uh pretty simple easy i'll show you how great it works um I st a liter of a liter of paint does a lot, um, depending on how many traps you're going to do, how many, you know, kind of batches of this that you need. But basically, I'm taking my whole liter of paint, dumping it in the pail. Now, um, I like to use a pail that's a little narrower than a five-gallon bucket because I want it to rise up enough that I can immerse the trap in it, right? So you got to have enough depth of your liquid to do that. So I got one liter of my leather brown in the bucket. I'm then gonna add my paint thinner. Same amount, right? So I'm gonna fill that up. I'm gonna add that to my mixture. Okay. And then I'm gonna do about half of it again. So basically I've got a liter of paint, a liter of paint, <coughs> excuse me, a liter of paint and one and a half uh, liters of, and it's obviously not exact because I'm just winging it, <coughs> I'm just guessing. But as long as you have enough when you're done, that you can kind of manipulate, maneuver that trap around a little bit and make sure it gets all covered in the liquid. So there you go. That's pretty well it. Um, make sure you dispose of your cans and your excess liquid and all that properly, whatever your state or province calls for for recycling those things. Uh, then you want to give this a good stir. So just something real easy and uh, just give it a good stir. Okay, should be okay. You just wanna make sure there's no clumps or no solid um, bits of the paint, parts of the paint that didn't get sort of thinned out by the thinner when you put it in.
okay? Now it's as simple as taking your trap, make sure it's ready to go. Make sure there's not a lot of dirt on it, but other than that, I mean, it doesn't have to be completely clean. It doesn't have to be super duper, you know, anything fancy. It just has to be ready to, you know, it's, it's, it's been sprayed off of any loose dirt or any loose rust and it's, um, it's dry. It shouldn't be wet. You shouldn't be, you know, putting a wet trap in. So, um, other than that, you're just going to dip it and set it in. Make sure it gets completely covered. Roll it around a little bit if you got to. Okay, good man, bring her out. Beauty. Okay, I'll take that when you get the next one. Now, a couple different things. If you find that you do this and you find that the paint isn't really sticking, you know what I mean? Like if you find that as you hang them up to dry, it drips off and there's too much metal showing through for your liking, uh, then cut back on your thinner. Um, sometimes you can go one to one or you can even back it up farther than that if you want a little more, you know, to be heavier on the paint. I find this works well for me. There's no way that I can make trap like paint on traps last all season long anyway. So after the first couple catches, then this all gets kind of flaked off and, and whatever anyway. But at least initially they're they're all done up and they're good to go. So anyway, listen, that's it. There's nothing to it. And you just basically make your mixture, dip your traps in, hang them up to dry, come back, come back the next day. Uh, and they're all set. They're all dried. They're all ready to go. So. Anyway, just another little segment on getting your traps ready to go for the season. I hope this is something that can help you out, and maybe you can use this out on your line. So, anyway, until next time, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.